Well, folks, we're back at it again talking about Nintendo Switch 2. But before we dive into all of that stuff, because we have some updates for you, I want to talk about Into the AM because I'm wearing one of their shirts right now and they have been an amazing supporter of the channel. And I got to be honest, you can save 10% off of pre shrunk super soft shirts. And they just launched some brand new designs. Let's just take a look here. You see the graphic tees, Veil Tranquility says, reveal new designs. Let's just check out some of these new designs right now and i gotta say i am loving it we got we got mermaid action going on uh spaceship ninja stuff aliens all of these amazing shirts I am very, very thrilled. Like, look, there's mine. I'm wearing it right now. Guys, you should go ahead and check out into the am.com slash Nintendo Prime 10. And uh, yeah, take advantage today. <laughs> Now, guys, we got to talk about Nintendo Switch 2 because we have some updates for you guys. We have some information that is percolating and being told by Nate the Hate, if you guys know who he is. Uh, he's been a well-known Nintendo insider, just like Emily Rogers. He did a podcast episode he published today going over stuff he knows or has heard. In fact, in the thumbnail, it says what we know about Switch 2. He says we Modern Vintage Gamer doesn't really seem, his co-host doesn't really seem to know anything at the moment, but that can change soon. And then we also have to go into a new report that's out there stating we might find out about the Nintendo Switch 2, as in it may be announced before this month is done, and it could be centered around Gamescom. Oh my gosh, what is going on? First, let's dive into what Nate the Hate said on his podcast. Now... Of note, with Nate the Hate, he did say that these are just things he has heard. They are not definitive facts. I find that to be quite interesting because that's what rumors are. I think he's just trying to point out, I'm not saying this will happen. This is just whatever. Look, it's whatever. It's all the same, right? Like, we know you don't have your hands on a dev unit, so it is what it is. Now, getting into this, he says it, it notes like he feels like the info is happening now because dev units are out there and an industry event just happened in Bit Summit where devs got together and talked. And two more major events for that upcoming are Gamescom and Tokyo Game Show. So information is going to start becoming really a, an avalanche over the next couple of months. And he does note that he reached out to uh, all of his people, like, hey, do you have dev units? And turns out, you know, at least from like the middle of July and onward, that yes, he does know people that have access to dev units or know people with dev units. So yeah, it definitely seems like the Nintendo Switch 2 dev units are out there in the wild among many, many different developers. Now, he does go on to state that he is hearing about a second half of 2024 release. He speculates that could be as soon as September to October. Obviously, could just be holiday season. Uh, he's been sort of saying this since January because that's when he first was hearing murmurs it would be second half of 2024. And he feels like the Video Game Chronicle report just added confirmation to the sources he's already had on this. Now, he has heard whispers that they are going to ramp up the switch to production as in going to full mass production in quarter one of next year he wonders if some of the rumors have floated out there about it releasing in quarter one we're confusing it with it going into mass production in quarter one sort of depends on where those sources come from but just what he has heard is that while there are some being made right now of course mass manufacturing won't begin until early next year now this is where we get into some of the really, really interesting stuff because uh, we wouldn't be talking about this if we didn't have new information to provide. So far, none of what he said is really new until we get to this. He was told it will be like rocking an 8-inch an eight inch LCD screen. Now, I know... We talked about the LCD. People aren't happy about that, even though it could be mini LED or QLED, which is actually pretty good and I think would be a fair trade off to save on money. Yeah, it could just be a really crappy LCD screen like they went with the original Switch. But being eight inches, I think, is interesting. And I kept thinking, like, that's a really big screen, by the way. Eight inches is massive. And I, I, I was wondering, why would they go with a screen that large? And it dawned on me, they need to make sure that this device, when you look at it, looks different than the current Switch to indicate it is the new Switch. And there's a couple indicators for that. Obviously, it changes to the way the controllers look. That could obviously t indicate it's a new system. But because of third-party Joy-Cons, maybe that's not enough. But you know what? It, you can't do anything about how big the screen is. 
So if it's eight inches of real estate, then yeah, that's going to lead to there being, well, you know, more room to clearly delineate. This is not a Switch OLED. This is not a Switch, you know, basic. This is a massive screen. That also means the device is going to end up having to be larger. Oh, and when you have a larger device, that could mean, you know, obviously better technology underneath the hood, but but a larger battery capacity as well. Now, again, Nathan Hayes not saying that. This is just, hey, if it's an 8-inch screen, it has to be slightly bigger. That leaves there more room to do more stuff, maybe even a better cooling system to run the system at better temperatures. Now, Nintendo wants to add a significant amount of internal flash. Now, this is, again, according to what he's heard, and the ceiling he heard on this, and this is, the, the, again, ceiling. This is like the max amount. Nintendo's not looking to add a terabyte. Sorry, guys. 512 gigabytes of storage that is a lot now will nintendo go as far as to add 512 of flash storage i mean that's uh, that, that's really hard to say that they would be willing to go that far uh they could be willing to go that far to be clear I, it just to me that seems maybe more wishful thinking but uh you know hey 256 seems to be on the table and i I had previously thought they would top out at 128. So the idea that, hey, you know what, 256 seems really likely and possibly another model at 512, or maybe they just go all the way to 512. Because one thing he kept speculating on, and again, this is pure speculation, throughout the entire show is that this is going to be an expensive device. Nintendo might not be afraid to broach $400 to $450. And if you're doing that, you're now up to the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X levels of pricing. I mean, you got you to gotta have something that's going to feel premium and worth it. So if you have 512, you have an 8-inch display, you have the power and the battery light to back it up, the better Joy-Cons, it's possible Nintendo could find a sweet spot in here where they continue to sell the original Switch while they also sell this until maybe a point they could bring the price down. Then again, if it sells really, really well, they're not going to bring that price down. So uh, it's also true that because of inflation, money's not worth the same. So launching at 300 uh, would be like launching at 400 today back in 2017. So I do feel like Nintendo uh, might be exploring these higher price points because they need to keep their profit margins. Uh, and maybe they think we have the money for it. I have, I have no idea. Now, one thing we need to get into is this other source that claims this stuff is happening, or at least we're going to hear about it, not launching this year, but they're going to announce this system this month. So this comes from a UK website here called Start Menu. And I don't know much about them. So to try to be clear here, I don't know that these people know what they're talking about uh, because it's very hard for me to vet things that aren't from the United States. So I don't know their history. If any of you guys know the history of Start Menu out of UK, I would I would love to hear it. Um, but it says, report Nintendo could confirm new hardware as soon as the end of August. And then it goes on to say, Nintendo's been planning to confirm the existence of its next console at Gamescom this year. I mean, Gamescom, again, is like the end of the month. It's like the last week of, uh, of, of August. Um, a start menu source familiar with Nintendo Partner Studios tells us, as reported by Video Game Chronicle and corroborated by Eurogamer, and Eurogamer really only corroborated the second half of 2024 uh, release, to be fair. That's what they said. Their sources said they didn't corroborate the rest of Video Game Chronicle's report. Just to clarify, uh, the follow-up to Switch is reportedly planned for release in the second half of 2024. Both sites have cited sources that state development studios have dev kits in hand. However, Start Menu has learned that the Japanese-based firm could be confirming, could be confirming the existence of new hardware as soon as the end of August 2023. The source, which is in regular contact with multiple studios and platform holders across the industry, told Start Menu that Nintendo plans to announce a follow-up to the Switch at Gamescom. Quotes. Puts it in quotes. Like, that's exactly what his source said. The source originally tipped Start Menu off for this at the end of July 2023. Due to the lack of evidence supporting the claim, however, we didn't feel comfortable reporting the story. It's kind of funny. End of July. That's like July 31st. It's only been a couple days. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> we also felt highly unlikely that the Tokyo company... Oh, my gosh. They're not... See, like... This is the stuff that makes you question validity at times. Nintendo's not from Tokyo. That's not the the their their headquarters are in Kyoto. I okay. Anyways, sorry. I they, they might not be like a massive Nintendo website, so I'm not gonna 
I don't want to dock them too much. Anyways, considering the leadership of the company is mainly centered in Japan and the USA. However, several details of Video Game Chronicles report lining up with what start menu sources have said convinces the story holds some truth to it. So basically, they have a source, and Video Game Chronicles report backed up a lot of what their source said. The source also told Start Menu they believe that several studios with close partnerships with Nintendo have received dev kits to begin familiarizing themselves with new hardware. Like, that's something that's been reported on for a bit. Uh, it is unclear if the claim of at Gamescom means Nintendo will be holding a Nintendo Direct the week of the show, the 22nd to the 27th of August, which n they don't announce systems in Direct, so I would go with no. Or if the company will announce a potential switch to at a Gamescom event, such as Jeff Keighley's co-run opening night live on the 22nd of August. It's not just co-run, he's, he's the host. Opening night live is part of Gamescom. It's Anyways, moving on. Uh, the Switch was announced via a tweet in 2016, only a handful of months before the console's release. And previous to that, the Wii U was first unveiled at E3 2011, back when the company still attended the LA Convention Center. And again, it didn't come out for a year and a half after that. Uh, also, technically, the Switch was announced... This is the weird thing. The Switch was actually announced as NX in 2015 by Nintendo. Uh, and then they reaffirmed at E3 when they were... Uh, 2016, when they were showing off Zelda, that it would be for a new system... They'll reveal details on the new system later in the year, and then obviously they unveiled it in October of 2016. So Nintendo does have sort of a track record of like letting us know a year and a half in advance of launch. Does sort of let us know that maybe they want to tell us this thing exists to prepare ourselves mentally for it. I don't know. So it's possible. I don't feel like it's likely, but it is possible. Anyways, Nintendo did confirm its attendance at the show for the first time since 2019. Uh, however, the company's confirmation that it will be at the show, there's been little indication as to what it will be showing, even down to the games that they might demo. It's also worth noting that despite a jam-packed winter slate of releases, including Mario RPG and Mario Wonder, the company has not been booking any behind-closed-doors appointment with press, bar a single third-party game that the console manufacturer is helping to distribute. And so... Look, my thought on that part, on this part of the thing is, I don't know that I believe any of this stuff being said by this website because I don't know their history. But even if we presume that they're right, why would Nintendo not uh, schedule meetings with people behind closed doors? Well, because the system's not coming out for a while. They probably, anyone who has a dev kit now already knows. Nintendo's already told them, met with them, and given them dev units. So they wouldn't need any behind closed doors meeting right now. And at Tokyo Game Show, Nintendo's there just for business meetings. So a bunch of studios in Japan are going to meet with Nintendo at Tokyo Game Show. So honestly, it, it just feels like if Nintendo was to announce this, it's more of a public thing. It's more of a, the rumors are out there. People are reporting. We want to get ahead of this. We want to prepare people mentally for it next year. And we basically want to, you know, come out there and just be like, hey, we do have a new device coming out in 2024. Now, would they give us the exact name of the device right now? That seems unlikely. Uh, would they tease the new hardware at this moment? That also seems unlikely. I can see Nintendo letting us know that our device is coming, but I just don't know. How, I mean, look, let's put it this way. We don't know what Nintendo's doing. Even when we consider what Nate the Hate said, oh, it won't go into mass production until uh, early next year. That could be possible. It could also be in mass production right now. None of us really know what's happening. Uh, so maybe we are about to get a full console reveal. All I can do is provide to you guys the information, and you can disseminate from that information what you want. That being said... I'm Nathaniel Rubble Jans from Nintendo Prime. I've got other news and other stuff I want to get to today. So thank you for tuning in. Please join our podcast tonight, by the way. we got some bro nation coming on. You guys know we're going to be going over all of this Switch 2 madness this week because it definitely feels like the floodgates are opening. I'll catch you guys in the next video.